first on the bounce this morning, it's because of the data. So that durable goods number was hot. Uh, in other words, it accelerated again. So again and again and again, we've had accelerations in this. This is not new, this is two years old. As you've gone throughout uh, the, really the September month, we've had quad two data and interest rates go up in quad two, don't forget. And now you're right back up at the same lower high. And what is the long-term call from here? I mean, the next rate cycle is down, okay? The Fed has been raising interest rates for almost three years. The Fed just raised interest rates for the third time this year. Not new. I understand that some are agitated on the last couple weeks of a move. That's what happens. Markets are designed to agitate you and me. They're uh, also designed to shake you out. The Russell 2000 peaked back in August. The Russell 2000 is down almost 3% from where I put it in its all-time highs. Now, as we enter Q3 earnings season, 98 companies in the U.S. have given guidance on earnings. 76% of those companies have guided down, not up, okay? The rate of change is turning. Look at that thing, back and forth. Look at it, look at it. Oh, they look the same. It's been quite easy to fade every single bounce in China, Europe, copper, emerging markets, etc.